The trial of Galileo Galilei stands as a significant chapter in history, marking the tension between science and religion, freedom of thought and doctrinal authority. Galileo, an illustrious Italian astronomer, physicist and polymath, was a linchpin of the 17th century scientific revolution. His staunch support for the Copernican heliocentric model, which suggested that the Earth orbited the Sun, propelled him into a direct confrontation with the Catholic Church. In the tapestry of the early 17th century, the Ptolemaic geocentric model, positing Earth at the universe's center, was widely upheld. Yet the heliocentric theory proposed by Copernicus was gaining momentum, particularly amongst astronomers and scholars, for its superior explanation of planetary motions. Galileo, through his telescopic endeavors, unearthed several groundbreaking findings, including the phases of Venus and Jupiter's moons, which bolstered the heliocentric argument. The discourse took a tumultuous turn in 1616, when the church proclaimed the heliocentric model as heretical, ostensibly contradicting the scriptures. Despite the warning from ecclesiastical authorities to neither hold nor defend the heliocentric theory, Galileo treaded forward with his studies, albeit cautiously. The waters grew murkier in 1632 with the publication of Galileo's Dialogue Concerning the Two Chief World Systems. In this work, he juxtaposed the Copernican system with the Ptolemaic system. Although the dialogue received the church censor's nod, it was perceived as an overt endorsement of heliocentrism. The character of Simplicio, depicted as a slow-witted defender of geocentrism, was viewed as a veiled jab at Pope Urban VIII. In the same year, the storm clouds gathered, as Galileo was summoned to Rome to face trial before the Roman Catholic Inquisition. The trial, commencing in April 1633 and stretching over two months, pivoted on the accusation of heresy against Galileo for his backing of the Copernican model. The charges bore severe gravitas amidst the backdrop of the Protestant Reformation and Catholic Counter-Reformation stirring religious and political unrest across Europe. Galileo, in his defense, contended that he hadn't championed heliocentrism, but merely delineated it. However, the proceedings took a bleak turn, as documents from the 1616 admonitions surfaced, bearing the instruction to not hold, teach, or defend the theory in any manner. The tribunal, unmoved by Galileo's plea, adjudged him vehemently suspect of heresy, compelling him to recant his beliefs. The sentence of indefinite imprisonment was handed down, though later softened to house arrest. Condemned to spend his remaining years under house arrest, Galileo departed in 1642, leaving behind a legacy that would anchor the foundations of modern physics and astronomy. Despite his coerced recantation, his narrative continued to echo through time. His trial morphed into a stark exemplar of intellectual suppression by religious magnates. The church's embargo on Galileo's works was only lifted in 1822, with Pope John Paul II formally acknowledging the ecclesiastical error in 1992. The tale of Galileo Galilei's trial continues to resonate as a crucial narrative, elucidating the complex dynamics between doctrinal authority and the relentless quest for scientific truth, embodying the enduring discourse of science versus religion. <laughs>